this is the first of a new series of IBD support sessions with a slight twist. This was suggested to me by one of the coaches at CCL, Aman, who's amazing. And he was suggesting to me that parents of children with IBD need support. And he's so right, so right. So this is the first of those sessions. And if you are a parent with a child with IBD and you're helping to care and support for them and making decisions for them, um, reach out to me for tips and guidance. And if you have any suggestions for these topics, let me know what your challenges are and um, I will add it to the list of things that I will work to create in the coming months, okay? So this is called EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique or Tapping. It's also known as, used by millions of people worldwide. It is self-help. Just trust the process, do this with me. And I think we'll just start with um, the feelings around the diagnosis, okay? Repeat the phrasing after me, follow where I'm tapping, even though my child has been diagnosed with IBD. And it's frightening. And it feels chaotic. I accept who I am and how I feel. I am being strong and I'm being brave. For the sake of my child. But this is such a shock. I'm acknowledging the shock now. To see what they're going through hurts me. It breaks my heart to see them suffer like this. And... I feel responsible for the outcome of this. I had no idea parenting could be this tough. I acknowledge the shock and the fear of this diagnosis. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath. Oh, it's making me yawn. Ooh. One of the side effects of this, yawning. So I will mention that, crying, laughing, yawning, sleepiness, tiredness, buzzing, tingling sensations, rumpy stomach, burping. All normal. As your energy moves around the body and you start clearing out some of this negative feeling, thoughts, beliefs. Let's go again. Even though my child has been diagnosed with a form of IBD, and I feel like the world has stopped. I accept who I am and how I feel. I don't know where to start. There are so many opinions, ideas, options. I just want this to be over now. There are so many unknowns. I just want my child to be who they are. Feeling healthy. I'm not having to deal with this. It breaks my heart. And I acknowledge the pain it causes me now. Take a nice deep breath. I hope I'm not going too fast, sorry. I'm not using a script, so it just comes into my mind and I appreciate that I start rattling it off. <laughs> Let's go again. Even though my child has been diagnosed with IBD and it has rocked the foundations of our family life. I accept myself with kindness. I am doing the very best I can in a very unexpected situation. I now look back on life 
and wish I hadn't taken it all so seriously. I didn't see this coming. None of us did. And now I feel plunged into this situation and having to understand it on behalf of my child. And this is a huge responsibility. I acknowledge how I feel right now. Because I play an important part of this. I am supporting my child every step of the way. So it is vital for me to look after myself. Because they feed off of me. And if I can feel strong and confident and optimistic, they can too. As much as I'm putting them before me, in this situation, I now realize that my self-care is a top priority. This is the beginning of a process for all of us. And as much as we have been given frightening statistics and negative opinions. I know deep down that this is temporary and all can be well again in the future. Take a nice deep breath. I think we'll go for one more. Just tune into how you're feeling about this, even though I have a child diagnosed with IBD. I accept myself anyway. This does not define my child. This just does not define us as a family. This is temporary. We are strong and resilient. I believe in my child. And I believe in me. I'm open to the possibility that there could even be great beauty in this process. We are strong. We are united. And I choose to feel confident in how we move forward. I am enough. And that is all I need to know right now. Take another nice deep breath. I'd welcome feel feedback because this is a new area for me to run these sessions for. Um, you know, what's coming up for you, what type of challenges you're facing, what the the you know the negative thoughts tend to be for you as you move through this process. Drop me a line, pop it in the comments, or whatever you want to do, and I will um see what I can do to offer you support through this channel. And of course, if you have any more personal questions or things that you don't want to necessarily share publicly, just get in touch with me through Instagram or on my website. You can find the links on this channel, share that with me and on, you know, that will be more anonymous and then I'll see what we can do. The important thing for you to know is you are strong. So is your child. You are united in this and anything is possible. Okay. Don't, don't let your light dim because of this news that you've had. I know that there can be great joy and beauty and strength beyond this diagnosis. And I thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.